Let's see how to create soft credits based on relationships in the Nonprofit Success Pack automatically. NPSP lets you add soft credits to an opportunity one at a time, and soft credits can be automated for households, tributes, and matching gifts. But what if you always credit specific people related to certain organizations or contacts every time? Some general examples. A board member is doing the actual fundraising for that donor and should receive leverage credit. Crediting organizational roles and responsibilities like grant managers. Crediting extended family members like adult children. Crediting house party hosts or table captains for funds raised at events. Giving staff members or volunteers who are not Salesforce users credit for soliciting gifts. There are two ways to automate soft credits from relationships by selecting a contact role on an affiliation related to the donor's account, or by selecting a contact role on a relationship related to the contact for a household donation. Before you start, be sure to review the videos and documentation around soft credits. You will also need to display the contact role field on affiliation and relationship layouts. Let's see this organizational level automation in action. We're asking for a donation from the Weiss Foundation, and the following people need to be credited every time we make an ask. The grants manager at Weiss, Lisa Shaw. Family members Jared, Charles, and Nicole Weiss. And our board member Park Tung should always be credited for leveraging the ask. So let's go to the affiliation for Lisa Shaw. Select soft credit as related opportunity contact role, and select save. Let's do the same for family members' affiliations to the Weiss Foundation. Don't forget, if you need more specific roles, you can create them and define how they're rolled up to contacts in NPSP settings. Let's do the same for our board member, but set his role to solicitor. Now let's create an opportunity for the organization. Select New from the Opportunity Related List. Fill in required fields and select Save. Let's look at the soft credits. Our extended family members were credited as soft credits, and Park, our board member, was credited as a solicitor. We just saved three or four steps creating this opportunity. More importantly, we're able to report out what sort of influence our contacts have on organizations and not forget to credit them when they use that influence. Now let's see how automated soft credits work with individual relationships. Let's say Roberto has an adult child, Robbie. When Robbie gives, we want to ensure Roberto gets credit. Let's go to the relationship to Roberto from Robbie's contact. We'll set the soft credit role as soft credit. This will make sure Roberto is soft credited with a role of soft credit whenever Robbie gives. We also want to make sure Robbie gets soft credited every time Roberto gives. Let's go to the relationship to Robbie from Roberto's record. Here we will also set the contact role to soft credit. Let's make a donation from Roberto's household, entering the default fields and selecting save. Here we can see that Roberto was credited as the primary donor. Jasmine was credited because she's part of Roberto's household, and Robbie was credited because of the soft credit role we entered on the relationship. Robbie always gets credit even though he's left the nest. Getting all of this right is important. Donors with more complex needs will expect that you are representing their family, businesses, associates, and financial institutions correctly, and that your organization is crediting the right people for the donations they've helped to bring in. Please note, there is a hierarchy when the same person is being credited by different methods at the same time. Please be sure to check the documentation for more information so you can share best practices with users. Thanks for watching.